Hello there, welcome to another episode of World of Warships from Gany Titan, and you can see my port there with George Dewey in the St. Louis. Well, he's on all my American ships, because he's the only American commander I've got. However, anybody who's been following me in World of Warships PC will realise that in the St. Louis, and the cruisers and the battleships in general, I find it uh, next to impossible to get my hit points worth of damage done on the enemy team. Um, now, I haven't actually played... The St. Louis much on the Legends yet. Um, I've only had a couple of games. Although, I think I have it fully, do I have it fully upgraded. I have it fully upgraded. I think there's only one upgrade slot anyway. And I have a variety of XP and quite a bit of XP. Um, did I start with XP or something like that? I can't remember whether I got something out of the Founders package. But I seem to have had enough anyway to get it um, elites. But I've decided to play a few games of it anyway, just uh, why not? I might as well uh, try it out and get used to it. And this is one of them, and I have did manage to get my ship's uh, hit points worth of damage in this ship. So whether it's because this game is easier, or I'm better at it, or the enemies are worse, um, I'm not 100% sure. You do seem to get into the action quicker in the Legends version of the game. We just seem to set up closer to the enemy positions. Like in this one, we're noticeably spawning parallel to the center of our own cap box, whereas our cap circle. Whereas, if I recall correctly, in this kind of layout, um, this particular map on the PC, we'd be spawning up at the top end of the map. It's right of the a full square out from our cap circle, and we'd have to sail to our cap circle and then sail down as far as here before we start making contact with the enemy. It does for make for the contact with the enemy sort of a quicker thing that happens quite quickly. And it does make the game seem a bit more pressured and a bit more uh, immediate. Now, I don't know, I presume this is deliberate. I think, you know, they're trying to create a kind of, I don't know, uh, that kind of a game. But I, I actually miss the longer cruising time to set up. And the ability for lead ships to spot enemy ships uh, in advance so that you can actually kind of respond to your move and, or uh, um, at least attempt to make some kind of estimate of what's going on and respond accordingly. Now, like I said, whether this will change, whether people will change their tactics um, and change the way they play to have a less pell-mell type game, going into the future is something that remains to be seen. So I'm shooting a fellow St. Louis here. I'm using uh, armor piercing because he's giving me full broadside. And I'm presuming that armor piercing is better on the if you have a broadside that you'll do more damage. Uh, you have better chance of penetration and getting citadel hits. At least that's my understanding. High explosives. It's one of the things that I think I failed to do enough on the... Um, PC version of the game and that I don't change my ammunition types um, adroitly enough, uh, should we say, at the, at the appropriate moments. And then I'm frequently firing salvos, multiple salvos, with the wrong type of ammunition before I correct myself. And it's an area that I seem to be doing better in, in on the console than in the uh, PC version of the game. Now, the first thing. Louis disappeared around the side of an island. I'm taking advantage of the smoke screen here. And I'm also coming back to shoot at that second Saint Louis who is turning into faces and I should be switching. I have switched to um, high explosives and I'm about to hit the side of the island. So he's giving me broadside again. We're about to hit the side of the island, but we're, we have the island for cover, and I think we still have the smoke screen. We're not detected at the moment, but we switched back to armor piercing. We're detected now, though. So somebody's gotten close enough, probably the St. Louis. But we'll keep firing, since we're not taking fire at the moment, and we might as well dish it out. There's quite a few ships around here, as we kept bumping into each other there earlier on. Now the St. Louis is, uh... Well... We've just lost a ship, I think, and St. Louis hasn't got many hit points left. Now, for some reason or other, I don't know why, I just switched fire here to the Wyoming, and I'd better off sticking to the St. Louis and actually bringing it uh, out of the fight. 
but I just did that. I don't know why. And um, now I'm reversing and I'm trying to face my ship's axis towards the incoming fire to reduce the profile of the target. And there is, I suddenly realized the same dude was still alive, but somebody took him out with the last. Uh, the last shot there. Now I've switched fire to the Phoenix because, uh, and I was very fortunate with those torpedoes as well, that I was at the extreme end of their range. Now they just appeared there at the very last instant, so I don't think I'd have been able to avoid them. Uh, I would have taken the two hits and that would probably have taken me out of the fight. However, we're managing to evade most of the fire of the Phoenix, though we haven't been that successful in hitting him back either. And but he's taken fire from more than just me, and I've, I've managed to hit or two there. So I'm going to keep just adding distance at this point because uh, I don't want to be under ships under fire from multiple ships. And I'm about to run into an Allied vessel, I think, but I didn't realise that uh, at the time. I was so busy shooting at the ship behind me that I didn't realise. What was going on in front of me, I wasn't paying enough attention to the minimap. Fortunately, you don't do damage to friendly ships under these circumstances. Or things would have been a lot worse. And we have another vessel stopped in front of us, and we're going to continue pouring fire out. We've lost that ship as well. And somebody, the destroyer that just sailed past me there, started to generate smoke. So that's going to give me some extra cover. I can slow down a little bit, take a bit of time and continue to pour fire onto the Phoenix. And I'm not detected. So he's not shooting back at me. He's now shooting back at targets that he can see. And he's taking fire from multiple ships, but he's steaming straight up my direction. And he's now obviously gotten close enough, I think, to spot me. So I'm going to accelerate a little bit. and But I'm going to continue firing at him. Um... And I'm now starting taking fire because I was detected by the Phoenix. I'm taking fire from the other side of the smoke screen. So the Phoenix is on low health, he's on fire. So I'm going to put turn my broadside more to the Phoenix. He's got lots of things to be shooting at besides me. And I'm going to turn the rear of my ship towards the incoming battleship fire. And the smoke screen, I'm not far away, enough away from the smoke screen. I was the demise of the Phoenix, I'm no longer spotted. So I can now turn broadside. And if I could just see that battleship, things would be really, really uh, good. Because I'm just waiting for the the um, destroyer to poke out. He has spotted the battleship who is stuck on the side of the map. And um, that will slow his rate to turn. And it will slow his movement. So he's going to be much easier to hit. So I'm going to continue to pour fire onto this uh, Wyoming from the other side of the smoke screen. And the destroyer is also heading out, I think, too take advantage of the situation and hopefully he wants to supposed to get some torpedoes away as well however he's going to expose himself to the unrestricted fire of the Wyoming because I don't know if the Wyoming can see anything else besides the destroyer um, at the current location there is another cruiser with me and there they just, the Wyoming just takes the full spread of torpedoes but I don't think the uh, yeah I don't think the, the destroyer didn't survive the experience we have no destroyers left in our team and now it is uh, just me and whoever else is, yes, the other ship that's shooting at him. However, the Wyoming is on pretty low health at this point. Now the smoke screen looks like it's starting to dissipate. I've been detected. And I've managed to set a fire. I had switched to high explosives there as I was anticipating that the battleship would turn towards us and start bow tanking. So I need to actually now turn away or at least... Uh, yeah, take the narrowest profile and minimize the chances of the uh, Wyoming getting a decent hit on me. Just keep up the shell fire. Actually, I'm on my own. Yeah, he's taking out the other ship as well. So it's just the two of us. However, he's still on fire, and that's the main thing. Because the fire is going to get him at this point. He doesn't have enough uh, hit points left to survive, and there he goes. So there's one enemy ship remaining. Uh, we're about to cap the enemy. Uh, base and I have no idea where that remaining enemy ship is so but I have done in excess of the 29,500 hit points that the ship has so I've satisfied enough of my battle so far and I'd be quite happy to leave it at that
Obviously, if I got an opportunity to shoot at somebody without risk, I would probably take it. But I wouldn't be, um, unless the enemy is going to turn up and reset the cap at this point. Yeah, we've won the game. So, battle ends. Now loading final battle, uh, battle results. We had a victory. Our team completed the objective and it got me 35,500 silver, I suppose, whatever the currency is. And we, well, we didn't do so well in experience. We're down at the bottom of the table. So it looks like you you still really have, it's still really challenging, I think, to get a lot of experience in this game. Well, obviously, I'm not uh, not managing it at the moment, and certainly not in St. Louis, but I was still quite happy to get uh, you know a decent result. Pretty much like the um, PC version of the game, if you click on any of the individuals, you'll see their gamer card, but you won't see any details about how they did number of shots or anything like that fired. Unlike, say, World of Tanks, where you will get some information of that nature. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please press like. If you have not already done so, please subscribe. I will catch you all again soon. Bye for now.